The Tokyo Olympics have withstood a pandemic and a heat wave. Now they must survive a typhoon. Yet the locals at the Olympics' official surfing venue are upbeat. The waves are always like this when a typhoon comes, but they often become better when the typhoon has gone. I hope that happens. Riding a wave of goodwill was Japanese 13-year-old Momiji Nishia. She won the first ever gold in women's street skateboarding and became the second youngest champion in Olympic history. In basketball, NBA star Luka Doncic delivered a performance for the ages. The Dallas Mavericks player scored 48 points as his Slovenia team brushed aside Argentina. In the pool, Britain's Adam Peaty defended his 100-metre breaststroke gold, though he finished short of his own world record. Australian Ariana Titmus took the top prize in the women's 400-metre freestyle. She beat the favourite Katie Ledecky of the USA, who found there was no sixth Olympic gold at the end of the Tokyo Rainbow. With tropical storm Nepertak forecast to make landfall on Tuesday afternoon Tokyo time, competitors who have coped admirably with adversity thus far must brace themselves for more disruption.